Hello everyone and welcome back to Spore. Oh my goodness. Oh, everyone's dancing. Welcome back to Spore, the Tooth and Claw edition. Oh my gosh, the floating egg is still here. <laughs> I thought I would have gone away by now, but no, we are back at the floating egg nest and we are here in creature stage still with our rogue. And we've also got a couple pack members who are hanging out. This is not our nest, but this is another one of the Leoplee nests. And we are still here in creature stage because I want to get a couple more rogues to ally with. And I want to kind of change up the way the Leoplee lurks a little bit more before we go to tribal. Because we'll be stuck with whatever look we have at the end uh, forever, basically. I might even consider changing the mouth a little bit so we can kind of look a little bit more evolved. Hmm. Or even getting some arms. We'll have to see what happens. Let's go ahead and perform a mating call. And the lay our little egg. The rogue is just like awkwardly turning around. He's like, oh, don't mind me. I guess I'm just here for this now. Okay. Oh, and look at everybody all gathered around. Oh, new baby. I hope it doesn't float like the other one. I think it is, oh, there it is. <laughs> I was so worried. I was like, is it gonna be another floating egg? What am I gonna do if it's another floating egg? But it is not another floating egg. And we have got, holy moly, we've got a lot more to work with now. Okay, so we've got all of the cute and creepy eyes. Um, I really don't know if there is an eye that I like better for the Leo play than this one, though. Um, let's check the normal eyes. We still don't have a lot of the normal eyes, and we have, like, the empty eyes. But that's not really what I want. We have the optic orb. Not really what I want. Um, fugitive. Like, maybe? Maybe? If it was kind of facing forward a little bit, maybe smaller. I really need to define the head better, but the thing is the Leo plate looks so cute like this. <laughs> I really like them like this and I think it suits their mouth pretty well. So let's go ahead and try to give this guy a little bit more of like a defined jaw, head sort of area. Okay, just pull you down a little bit there, pull you up a little bit there, down here, down here. Come on, tilt your head back a little bit. All right. It's really hard to define a jaw without just using like the mouth to do so. Like, hmm. Hmm. So I'm going to play with this a little bit more. Moving the eyes a little bit forward and kind of like into the jaw really did help quite a bit with trying to make the Leo play look a little bit better. Now their head's a little too big, but I need the chest area. Oh, that really helped. Just that little poof right there really, really, really helped to make them look a lot better. So maybe what we need to focus on is actually making the mane around the Leo play because holy moly, these feet. Thank you to whoever was like, Siri, look at the little, look at those feet because they look really perfect for the kind of otter look that we're going on these guys. So let's go ahead and jump over to, I want to make the rest of the body just a teeny touch bigger too. There we go. Maybe a little bit more back here. Maybe move this up here a little bit. This down here. Eh, eh. It's kind of hard to get everybody, like everything right where you want it. I wish it really was like play or I could just reach in and like form it the way I really wanted. But let's go ahead. Oh, look at this. I love all the pieces. There's a little porcupine. Oh, wow, man, that could end up being something really cool if we ever used that. I need to focus though. Oh, we have this, <gasps> the flower. Oh my gosh, one day we'll have to make some sort of like little little flower species, like a, oh, like a little oddish or a gloom or something like that. That would be fun. But for now, we have been thinking about trying to make some sort of like mane on the Leoplee for a very, very long time. So let me go ahead. We're gonna rotate the feathers. Ooh, ooh, I like the feathers, you guys. I'm liking the feathers a lot. All right, elongate, whoops, not the legs, not the legs. I need to pull the feathers back though. I'm doing something with them. All right, I actually kind of like this, but the thing is we wanna try to make it so they lie flat-ish along the back so that they can hide like be, uh, be a cool mane. Is there anything else we could make a mane out of? I don't think so. On the Leo play. Like the ponytail thing. But I'm not sure about the pony. Look at his face. He's like, I don't want the ponytail. Um, and do we want the whiskers back? I don't I don't know. I, I think the whiskers actually do add quite a bit of detail and like personality to the face. 
especially if we could just get more we need more dna points that's our problem is we need like a lot more dna points so that we can just totally go wild and add lots of different feathers all around the mane all right let's see if i can pull this puppy back a little bit yeah i can i can make it really long if i wanted to what where's my other little doodads oh there we go <laughs> So I'm doing something with this feather. I don't know why it's kind of moving around Maybe if I move it down a little bit over here and then no not the legs again feather come here and Then maybe back like this maybe Maybe Nah, that just it just goes somewhere. I didn't want the feather to go All right, so this is gonna be a little trickier to make a mane on this guy than I thought it would be I wonder if I'm gonna have to like Give the Leopli a better neck? Huh. But he definitely looks really cool. Maybe I just need to make it smaller. Maybe I just need to do that and kind of turn it down a little bit. Maybe further down the neck? There we go. All right, well, we won't spend too much time messing around here anymore. Let's try that out. Let's just start here. Maybe we won't do an entire main. Maybe we'll just kind of do it. That actually looks really good. I'm, I'm pretty, actually, I'm very happy with how that looks. And then what we can focus on is on the front. When we hit tribal stage, we can put like chest armor and stuff like that on the front of them. Um, and anything else like hay corns for maybe some spots? Like, does that help to kind of make it look like it's coming out from somewhere? I'm not sure. I can rotate the little thing. It's like a tiny little acorn. Um, it can it can be like a large tiny acorn, or it could be just like a dot. Maybe just like that? Huh. Well, let's look what he looks like when he's all painted. I'm still in love with this color patterning. I know some people are like, let's try different color patterns. But I'm still kind of in love with this color pattern. I wish you weren't so silly looking, Leopli. I'm trying to make like... I actually really like those shoulder feathers and the hay corn's not bad. We can get rid of the hay corn in the future if need be. Um, maybe a better spitter? I don't think we need a better spitter though. I feel like I do want the legs to be a little bit beefier now though. So we will work on that. Okay, let's kind of maybe do this. Pull them back a little bit and down a little bit maybe. I might need to reduce the spine by one and then scooch this forward because I'm trying to make them slightly more balanced now. So let's go ahead and try that out. I spent far too much time fiddling around with that. Sorry about that, guys. We're going to go look for another rogue because I think, oh, they look really good with their shoulders. Oh, look, our little rogue friend hatched too. I love it. It's like he left an egg too and we raised it. So cool. So cool. I like the shoulders. I'm really, I'm feeling the shoulders actually. Excuse you, I'm trying to look at, try, excuse you. I'm trying to get a good look at us and you're just like standing in the way, fellow Leo play. So yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling the shoulder thing. It's really good. Maybe we won't go, like I said, full, full like chest mane. We'll just go for shoulders. All right, the movements. Maybe too squat and short. I think I want a longer Leo play. I think I want a slightly longer Leo play. Do you guys think he should kind of stand up and get arms as we start hitting tribal stage? Because I do want to start moving to tribal stage pretty soon. Yeah, I feel like we slowed ourselves down just a little bit. There's some fruit from the... Ugh, the awful eyeball trees. Why are they everywhere? Curse you eyeball trees. All right, and we're on the hunt, actually, for another rogue. Oh, and we found a thing. Huh. Well, it's a thing that's guarding like, hey, don't attack, you little jerk. Now we're going to eat you. Take that. The pack's getting a little hungry anyway. I We have a rogue in the family now. So what are you going to do about it, huh? Oh, my. Yeah, I don't think he's going to do much about it. Get around the tree for crying out loud. All right, we got a succtopod. Is that another rogue? Or, or another alpha, I meant? There we go. So got him taken care of. All right, eat up, everybody. Looks like we're clearing out this nest in a second. There's not much to it. Oh, we got a slasher knight. Man, I love that we are just like going through. Whoa, hey. 
Hey, you little, you little not so nice guys, little jerks. Well, then again, we are coming to raid like their nest, so I shouldn't judge. All right, let's go ahead and finish this off. There we go. We have killed off 20 species, you guys. And we have like the roar of satisfaction. Okay, we got a grump eye. And we got a hand. And I know you don't have to have rogues in your like group as allies to be able to move on to tribal. I just really want some. All right. And then there's those guys who are just kind of, they're silly goofballs. Um, I think we found, then there's like a little, little tree frog. Guys, we have grasshopper possible legs now. I don't think that's quite where we're going. We want more like liony legs. What are you guys? Oh my gosh, they're huge. Alpha stomps. Oh, holidays. Oh my gosh, the vicious attacks begin. All right. Come on. This is kind of a lot of guys to take on at once, but we're doing it. We're doing it. We've got the ability. We could do this. Look at them. Look at them. They're running from us now. That's right. All right. Let's go ahead and eat. All right. Yeah. Our rogue buddy is eating too. But yeah. So that's going to be our goal because I have never had so much fun ever. All right. There's the alpha. I have never had so much fun in creature stage before. So really the entire goal is to go around and collect up some rogues to work with now. Let's kill off that alpha. I need to take out two more of them. All right. Oh my gosh, everybody's so excited. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on here. Am I getting him? And there we go. Man, that guy went out fighting. They were pretty tough. All right. And I've got a grabber hand. I think the Leo player are doing pretty good. I don't think I want to add too much more to them. I can't really think too much more that I would need to add. Pan here. But yeah, we'll just look for some rogues. I want I want two more rogues in our group. So when we start the next stage, we're already like cultivating husbandry. Oh, is this our home nest? No, it's a whole nother Leo play nest. Awesome. Why well, hello there. I should set this as our home nest because then we'll be next to the ocean. Definitely happening. Yeah, we're gonna set this as the home nest. Because then anytime we come by, uh, like when we move to tribal stage, we will be able to have the coastal abilities, which is what we want. All right, so let's keep moving. Where do you guys, Swighorns, you're guarding something. Let's take you out. Shouldn't be too hard. Oh wow, that's gonna be super easy actually. All right, so let's make sure we pin down your alpha. Any other alphas? There's another alpha. So we're gonna work on that one. And then we want to clear this one out. I wonder, should we do different eyes for moving to tribal? I think we will do different eyes. Maybe arms for tribal. I'm not sure. All right. We got an interesting nose. Getting some eyes. There we go. Wow. They have a lot of bones over here. Another eye. Holy moly. We're just like collecting things up left and right. All right, and we still need to find more rogues to impress. And I know that there was another rogue. Is that more bones? Wow. How many pieces are there? It just feels like this could go on forever. All right, there's some little maymays. We're going to go back. Should I go up back and eat? Let's go back and eat really quickly, though. The Leopoli do get hungry much faster, which is, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense because we were pretty biologically heavy with all of the abilities that we have. So I guess we would have to eat like a lion. Lots and lots of food. Oh, there's some little bones up here too. Oh, and I heard some of the fruit falling from the trees. All right. I'll go ahead and get this. You know, I think that's what we'll do. We'll go ahead. We'll collect up a bunch of the pieces. We'll hopefully find a couple more. Oh, go away, you nasty eyeballs. We'll hopefully find a couple more of the rogues to befriend so that they can come and join us in our epic journey. And then when we make our final version of the Leo plea, okay, there's a bunch of Granks. Are they migrating? Are they just like a giant group of Granks? I think they're migrating. Bye. Um, we'll go ahead and clear you guys out. All right, everybody work together. 
We can do this. All right, take this one out too. All right, we've got him. We've got him. Oh wow, we only needed to take two of them out. Apparently we fought them before. So now we've got some food. But yeah, we will go ahead, we'll collect up the parts. <gasps> what are you? It's an anemone. It's like an anemone. It's a moving tree. I'm gonna, it's an anemone. Like from the sea. Except it's an epic. That's amazing. Seriously? Are we being threatened by an, a giant anemone? Oh boy. Well, at least it can't go very quickly. Like, move very fast. Everybody's a little nervous, though, so let's keep moving. Alright. The Scar Maker. Now that sounds like a pretty cool thing. Oh my gosh! M angry Mushrooms? Look at that anemone! I can't believe that he's just, like, glowering at us from the trees. That's what I love about this, is all of the discovery in this stage. But yeah, I think we've almost got all the parts, so I'm pretty content as far as the parts go. But what we'll do is we'll take away some more of the creature-based parts. Look, there's another little section over there. So cool. We'll take away, like, maybe the eyes and some of the other aspects that suit these guys for creature stage on our next evolution. And on the next evolution, we will focus... Oh, look at him go. We will focus on what would make him look good for tribal stage. So that'll be our goals. All right. How's the mushrooms? Doing good. Because I don't know if we'll find another, another rogue. I really want to find another rogue. We're walking through a mushroom nest. How interesting is that? There's a mantenna. Hmm. I wish we could, like, swim over there. That would be so cool. But unfortunately, we can't. All right. What are you guys? Oh, angry things. All right. Let's go ahead. We'll clear this nest out. What are you doing? Where's your alpha? I need to take your alpha out, not you. So we can get some parts. Oh, whoa. They actually look pretty tough. Look at them. Huh. I'm like barely pecking in here. Barely getting a bite in. Come on. Come on. Come around. Stop letting them block you. Land in some blows. There we go. There's another one. Okay, we can actually get a lot of DNA from taking these guys out. So let's go ahead, remove them. Where's their alpha? There he is. That's what we need. Man, our rogue buddy is just not having any of this. He's just clearing the way for us. All right, we'll take out the little baby. Sorry, little guy. Oh, look at that. Did you see that flying kick this guy did? Oh my gosh. They're everywhere. Okay, go, 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 go. And we'll eat up in just a second. All right, there they go. And let's go ahead and heal and eat. And yeah, that's the plan, you guys. Okay, we're still looking for the rogues. I don't know if we're going to find any more rogues in the area, though. We've got several new parts. And we've seen quite a lot. And I'm beginning to feel pretty comfortable with the idea of going ahead and beginning to get to the point where we might get to the final... The final form of the Leo plea. And then once we get there, we'll we'll stop making them look good for creature stage. We can yank off like some of the high tier stuff that they have and focus on just making them look good for tribal stage, even if that means their stats are a little different. Is that a rogue? No, it's a really weird something something though. But alright, we will continue to search among the open fields <laughs> with, with giant epic anemones chasing us down in the distance next time. And I hope you guys have some awesome ideas and suggestions for how we maybe should start shifting the Leopli so that they are prepared and ready to look awesome for tribal stage. And I'll see you guys then. And let's just go ahead and take care of some of these guys. I'm gonna clear out the alpha. They wanted to say hi to us before everything ended, apparently. So let's go ahead. We'll just, we got this. We got this. Not, not hard at all. There goes the alpha. He gave us a slim slam kablam. And we're good. All right. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.